today I'm going to be showing you how to add overlays into your recordings in Microsoft Expression Encoder. So I also want to give you a brief update here. Um, I'm going to start using doing a little bit more tutorials instead of actual videos. I will still post some gaming videos, but those are mainly old ones. Uh, I'm just taking a break from Minecraft. So yeah, so the first thing you want to do is once you have downloaded all this stuff, um, you can go to Microsoft Expression Encoder and open it. And you can hit OK and not select any of those projects. Um, once you have that, you need to import a file. I already have a file ready, uh, which is my outro template. And the first thing you want to do after that is you want to go to video and um, make sure you have it in whatever um, you know quality. Um, I prefer 720, which I overshot a little bit there. All right, there we go, and it went down again. God dang it. All right, there we go. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to Enhance. And here you can add any overlay you want. I want to add a visual overlay first. And here's my latest um, Ultra Hardcore video. And all I have to do is bring it over and make sure it covers up the whole thing. All right, maybe a little bit higher. All right, oops, okay. And then I have to drag it in to match the frame that I have. Okay, there we go. So there's my visual overlay. And you can change whether or not you want the sound in the visual overlay. Um, I can you know, turn it up and you can actually hear it if you want. Um, so I could actually bring it up here and I want to add a visual overlay next and I can select my outro song which is Ouroboros and I can do this. Alright, so hey everyone and welcome back to UHC and me and Sumia are playing. Now that's great. But as some of you know, I don't really add the actual video sound into that video. So all I have to do is make sure it's at zero and I'm going to play it again. As you can see, it doesn't have the actual video sound. So you can tweak that if you want the actual sounds from the video or just have it as just empty and without any sound. Um, you can also add pictures in here. It doesn't have to be just a video, but since this is an outro, then I want to add that. So yeah. So once that's done, um, I'll double check a few things and I can hit encode. And now that it's encoding, um, basically uh, once it's done, uh, you need to go to uh, documents, um, expression, and then, then expression encoder. So I'm going to give you that. I already have a shortcut here, but I'm going to show you exactly where you can get that. So then you go to the expression folder and then you go to Expression Encoder. And this is where your jobs are and you want to hit Output. This is where all the files that you've used, um, excuse me, encoded, are there. And you see we have about 30 seconds left. Um, so yeah, so this is where all the stuff that you've used and encoded are. And this is where they are at, all at. So yeah, so I'm going to wait for this to be done and um, get to see where it is. So, in about 10 seconds. Um, and there we go. And now, as you can see, it, it has appeared. And I can hit play. So that's my outro. Um, it's really simple to do. It's really simple. Um, so, you know, you can do that on anything. You can use it on a large video or a small one. It doesn't matter. Um, you can also add, um, unfortunately, uh, you can't add multiple of these. You can't add multiple visual overlays or vi uh, audio overlays. Those don't work. Um, they only allow you to have one. So that's unfortunate, and since um, I believe that Expression Encoder has been discontinued by Microsoft, unfortunately you can only have one. Um, so this is what I've had to use from basically 
the whole time that I've used this. So yeah, so I guess that'll do it. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a rating and I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh